Okay. Hello, hi, welcome to the Iskandar Property Talk. This is Aaron here, and this episode is sponsored by Horizon Hills. So this property talk is really special because I think this uh, pandemic, you know, has really changed the way how we consume media and even probably even property viewings. And uh, in today's video, uh, we will actually be educating about property because, you know, property information isn't so uh, readily available, uh, you know, like cars or tech, you know. So today we want to bridge this gap, you know, while you can watch this uh, from the comfort of your home. Uh, stay safe, uh, guys. <laughs> so very quickly, we want to do a general shout out to uh, Horizon Hills, who is uh, sponsoring this episode. Uh, they will be giving a hundred ringgit uh, Horizon Hills uh, Golf Country Club, uh, and there's also some free gift of uh, Ryan School's book. And before I introduce this uh, guest today, uh, I just want to share a little bit because when I was uh, interested in property back then, I do attend some of his seminars and some of his uh, uh, events, and I would I, I would have to say I do learn a lot, you know, from him and also his uh, his Facebook group, uh, Malaysia's Investors in Singapore. Uh, and also, fun fact, he's also the author of the two one of the two best selling books for Iskandar. What's the big deal with Iskandar Malaysia? And are you in Iskandar too? So let's uh, let's let's not waste any time and let's welcome Ryan Koo. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Evan. Good day, hey, Ryan. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yes, <laughs> good day. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So, um, like what you said, it's the first time I'm doing a video uh, uh, that we are in two different countries. You are in Singapore, I'm in, I'm in JB, Malaysia. <laughs> and uh, we are doing a Zoom social video. Distancing. Social, social distancing. Social distancing, yes. Social distancing to... Uh, but this is a bit extreme. Huh? <laughs> uh, a bit extreme, yes. No, but no choice, right? That's the way it is today, right? <laughs> Yep, it is, it is, it is, it is. So yeah, so yeah, maybe uh, for those audience who do not know about you, maybe you can tell uh, us more about yourself and what do you do? Yeah, okay, uh, my name is uh, Ryan Koo and I am a uh, Malaysian, I am a, but I'm a Singapore PR and I've been in Singapore right. JB since uh, 2009, so actually more than 10 years already. So I'm very familiar uh, with Singapore and uh, Johor. Mm. And um, what I do is I, I run a couple of companies. Uh, the first company is uh, Alpha Marketing. We are a consultancy to owners and to, bis uh, to developers on property. And uh, I also run an uh, Airbnb company, a short-term rental company called uh, IMBNB, where we, we manage about uh, 60, 70 uh, keys. In, in interesting, building. interesting. And we also run an interior design company called FY Design. We help owners to furnish their houses, whether dream house or any other requirement. Wow. Very diversified, right? Yeah, Very diversified. A lot of things, but and they're, and they're all uh, JB and Singapore related. Most of our clients are, are Johor, uh, Johor mm. based or Singapore based. Uh, right. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. And, the, and the most important thing, which I haven't mentioned, mm -hmm. is uh, yeah, of course, I'm a, I'm a owner and a resident in, in Horizon Hills today. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I think we'll talk more about about that later. I think uh, yeah. maybe some of us will be probably interested. You know, probably why you actually uh, make your purchase in uh, Horizon Hills. So yeah, um, yeah, we do have uh, quite a number of questions. We do have a number of questions. So for those who are listening, if you do want to, if you if you do have some uh, questions, yeah, please do leave in a comment below, and we'll probably address it in the comment section or probably in our next uh, live uh, version. But really, really thank. Thank you. Shout out uh, for those who all who has uh, submitted the questions. We really appreciate it. Yeah. So we will probably start from the easy questions ah, until yes. the hot topic. Please, please ask questions. You make make difficult questions also. Never mind. I I I I yeah, live, yeah. I live to answer can handle difficult it. questions. Yeah, yeah. I can handle it. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right, like a, a, a lot of positive, uh, a lot of positivity, yeah. Mm. Okay, so let's get on to our first question. Um, I think probably we get a bit, uh, get to know you a bit more. Like, how do you first start in this industry? So, when you first buy your first house, uh, or slash investment, you know, what are the tips uh, that you would uh, encourage when you actually buy your first uh, property? Um, I I bought my first house when uh, I just got out of uh, university and I started working. Um, and mm -hmm. I, uh, that was uh, the year 2007, right? And um, that time, oh, my, so, my first mm -hmm. property was actually a, a three-bedroom uh, condo in, uh, in KL. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I bought it for about uh, 300,000 ringgit only, actually, those days. Yeah. So, wow. <laughs> yeah. wow. You and can't actually, find that price anymore. You can't find that price anymore. <laughs> and then, and then the, the second property I, I bought was, a, was actually a studio apartment, uh, 158,000 only in, in uh, Bukit Bintang. Actually, it's, it's pretty much Bukit Bintang. Oh, area. Bukit yeah. Bintang. Oh, it's actually pretty central. Yeah, Correct. Yeah. And I, I got a rental yield of like, uh, uh, what, 9%? I think it's, you cannot wow. hear that. Uh, you, you can't hear that kind of number today. Uh. Today, you tell people 9%. No, no, no. People think it's a scam. 
<laughs> right? Yeah. So, but but those days, you know, I got nine percent yield, and nobody believed me. You know, I, I I told my colleagues, I said, you know, I bought this property, I got nine percent yield, and then people don't believe. And uh, mm-hmm. and those days, it was like uh, property was not a, a favored investment tool yet. I mean, we we just come out from uh, nineteen ninety seven. Uh, yep, that's true. Crisis, that's right? true. So I was for, about to say that after yeah. 97, 98, right? A lot of people were like, you know, recovering the recovering years. So until exactly. the recovery period, right? Uh, easily what five years, six years. So by two thousand five to two thousand six, right? I think people, uh, economy has recovered, right? And uh, property is attractive, but no one really there to buy it. So I think the the, the issue with property is always like this: um, when it's time to buy, nobody wants to buy. <laughs> When it's the wrong time to buy and everybody is buying, then you also want to buy. No, there's people have this. Uh, uh, what in, in Malay we call the balik. Uh, the mentality is a. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you know it's, 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 a, it's, it's a it's a kind of a fear of missing out, right? So nobody's buying, so you don't want to buy. Everybody's buying, you also want to buy. So I think that's where a lot of mistake happen, in in property investment. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. So 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 yeah, guys. So one of the first tip: don't rush into buying. Do your own uh, research, right? Mm. So um. So Ryan, what would you change? I mean, I believe everyone does mistakes. Do you have any property? Um, do you make any mistakes in any property investment? Yeah. So I think uh, I I have made mistakes. I mean, definitely as a uh, I I've been doing this since uh, more than ten years property investment, right? And I I have definitely made mistakes. I am the first one to admit that. Okay. And uh, and I think the mistake, the number one mistake I did was uh, when we saw the market rising very fast, uh, all the way until two zero one three. My mistake was that I also uh, got into the trap of people buy, so I also buy, you know. So uh, without, without right, considering right. whether the price I'm buying is 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 uh, correct or not. So is it fair? It's a fair price, yep. right? So yeah, you, right. you don't know. You 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 pay an overvalue price. So I also made the mistake in in that period, 2013, 2014. I bought properties, also where uh, probably too too high a price for the time, for the time. So uh, mm. I think that's mm-hmm. one thing people have to consider. When you make investments, so like I said earlier, um, don't get caught in the emotion of uh, buying just because yeah, everybody. Get educated. Yeah, just because everybody else is buying, you also buy. So you know that is that is a very dangerous mistake. So maybe another question. Eh? Actually, what got you interested in Iskandar region eh, for all of the uh, uh, places? So why, what 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 got you interested in Iskandar? Uh, so when I first moved to Singapore in uh, two thousand nine, uh, I of course I my first years in Singapore, I I I did I I, I just watch the market, both in JB and in, in Singapore. And after you live in Singapore for many years, you start to realise that actually, uh, there's a lot of synergy actually between uh, Iskandar and Singapore, right? Because uh, Singapore has a, it's an expensive place, uh, it's very expensive, uh, houses are small, and JB you have the opposite situation where prices are cheap, houses are big. And uh, same thing with cost of living, mm. right? Cost of living in Singapore is high, cost of living in Malaysia mm. is low. So to me, it's like, uh, it's very mm. wasted opportunity. Or there's a very big opportunity, sorry. If mm. Uh, mm. you go into JB, and you, uh, Malaysia and, and JB, Iskandar and Singapore can solve each other's problems, right? And I, I was the first to notice that. Uh, okay, maybe I won't say I'm the first to notice that. I, I saw that as a very big opportunity. <laughs> and, and actively, I try to bring these two zones together. So that's where I saw opportunity in Iskandar, Malaysia, right? To do it. Yeah, and especially and when in, in those mm, times uh, when you know the governments announced the the RTS linking Woodlands to yep. uh, JB Town Centre yep. and the high speed rail uh, from Jurong to uh, Iskandar Putri, I think that is a uh, to me you, you can see the intention to bring Iskandar and Singapore closer. Mm. And okay, to put it in layman terms, uh, to right. put it in layman terms, uh, Singapore got five and a half million people earn Singapore dollar. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's like uh, if you convert that to ringgit, that's like fifteen million ringgit. Uh, a fifteen fifteen yeah, million yeah, pe- fifteen million population amount. kind of uh, spending power. Uh, fifteen million ringgit worth of spending power, right? And you, you and it's kinda today exactly. just it's sitting next to it, so we uh we we, we can take advantage yeah. of that. Yeah, I do, I, I do have to agree. It's, it's actually a very unique uh, relationship uh, uh, between Johor and Singapore. Even myself, you know, I'm, I'm working in Singapore, so there is definitely a, a very unique relationship ties uh, between these two two countries. Yeah. Okay, so um, so let's get on to with our uh, question. I think there are a lot of uh, buyers also, you know, with uh, with the property market. Uh, you know, I think these days there's so many options available, right? There's so many type of property types. You know, you got your studio, you got your apartment, you got your condo, and then you got uh, your landed and things like that. So maybe you can explain to the uh, listeners a bit. Uh, what 
how does the landed versus condo living experience uh, differ? You know, what, what's the difference? The way I, the way I look at it, um, there's no uh, right or wrong, right? But if you buy a, a landed, the ish, the what you're looking for actually is uh, space and size, right? And if you notice a landed property versus a condo, you it's actually cheaper per square foot most of the time, a landed house, right? And uh, compared to a condo. Right. And, and furthermore, you get the land, you buy the land. Right. In a condo, you, you still have to share the land with uh, many, many, many other owners. So when you, you buy a landed house, uh, that's what you're looking for. Right. When you buy a condo, the, my advice is you buy somewhere there is a location and there's a convenience factor. That means downstairs you have uh, transport, you have shopping, right? uh, literally downstairs. Mm. So mm. You, if you buy a condo and a, and a landed, these are typically the two things. Uh, that you want, that you're looking for, that's why you buy. So in, in a way, if, if it's wrong if you buy a mm. condo which is uh, too far away with no amenities, then you made a mistake. <laughs> right? If you and, and yeah, and, and, and you made a mistake if you buy a condo which is too far away in a non-mature location, then that's wrong, right? With no amenities, right? And then if you buy a landed, of course the 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 issue is uh, uh, you have to get the correct layout and, and sizes. Uh, that, that's very important. So I think uh, Horizon, Horizon Hills in, in, in particular is one of those uh, success stories uh, that has happened in Skanda mm. in, in the past uh, six, seven years. So They're one uh, of the pioneers, right? right? They're one of the pioneers in this uh, Bukinda region, correct, right? Correct, correct. Actually, uh, so? if I'm not wrong, Horizon Hills first house was in, uh, first development started in around 2005. And uh, that time uh, when they sell mm. Terrace House, right? If I'm not wrong, the price is like from mm. 250 thousand ringgit <laughs> yeah actually a lot of people don't know this a lot of people don't know this so when they tell me ryan uh, can make right. money in, uh, in, in buy property in uh, in, in, in this kind of, i think part of it is about time frame right those days when people buy 250,000, 300,000 ringgit mm. in horizon hills uh nobody buy i mean if you buy you are pioneer yeah. right uh, that time yeah. bukit inda also don't exist <laughs> right uh, there's no bukit inda in, in 2005 2006 it's a very correct, uh, it's correct. a very uh new very very yeah. new place uh, right? wow. uh, so so that time you buy, you enter, you make money, right? Of course, if you buy later at the price exactly. peak, when prices start to peak, right? Then of course you 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 don't make as much, or you you or you only break even, right? But so it's it, you it's, gotta pay a higher price, lah. Yeah, it's, mm. you pay a higher yeah. price. So it's, it's uh, sometimes it's all about timing, right? Timing and, and in that sense, Horizon Hills is one of the pioneer, and I think they've done a very good job in uh, building the community and keeping it going. Yeah, this also actually leads to the next question. So um, we have uh, one of the comments that's saying that so uh, they are contemplating whether should you stay in a landed, which is in a, in a much further area, which probably has a lower quantum price, or versus uh, a, a high-rise apartment or condo in a city area. What what are your thoughts about that? Actually, the regarding the question, actually the answer is all about uh, traffic, traffic, uh, car traffic, right? So in uh, give you an example, like in KL or in uh, Singapore, right? If you if you live further away from from town, right, then uh, uh, right. the problem is when you go to work and your job is in town centre, right? Then it takes a lot of time to travel, right? So that's why uh, there's a trade-off. There's a trade-off. So sometimes people in KL, you buy an apartment or a right. condo right. nearer right. to town where you don't have to travel so much. Uh, so that's, that's the, mm. you, you, you pay, uh, you, you buy a condo, that's a trade-off, but you, at least you, the trade-off is you get a shorter travel mm. time to work. Right? Otherwise, the, the, the trade-off is you buy a mm. landed house uh, further away from town, but then you have to travel, uh, travel more travel further to go to work. So there's a cost cost there also. So what happens is, um, hmm. uh, this is the problem in KL and also the problem in Singapore, right? So if you stay too far in, from town center, you have to take MRT, it's a further distance, right? otherwise you pay more, go nearer to town, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So same thing, so the, the mm -hmm. travel time, uh, travel time of traffic. Mm -hmm. So in, in JB, I think, or in Skanda, the good, the good thing is, at least today, uh, traffic is not so big a problem yet. Well, there are many more cars today, but also the highway and the road network here has improved. Uh, a lot, right? So the the good news is true. Yeah. that's true. So you you can still buy a landed house where it's uh, in a way so called a bit further from town center, but you can still go to work quite fast uh, because roads are still very good, right? The quality of roads are very high, and the traffic is uh, less. So in in, in a sense, uh, landed has the advantage in JB. Where even if you buy if you buy a landed so called further away, you know, it, traffic is still not so bad, mm, mm, right? Mm, so if you mm. want to buy a so it's actually more worth it la. It's more worth it to buy a landed like Yeah, if you, more, in right? that sense, if you consider it landed, it's uh, more mm. worth it, la, right? So if, if you want to buy a condo instead, then you must make sure right. your location and your convenience is uh, very, very good uh, to offset the offset mm. that, right? Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's actually very true because uh, because I think the infrastructure. I think when I was when I came to JB quite some time back, I think the the highways at near nearing to the second link. I think nearer to Tuas is a four lane. Uh, is a four lane highway. While the, I think the main the the the, the old custom, uh, the EDR was about two or three lane. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, mm. but yeah, I guess I guess you're right. I, I was a I was a university student in uh, in in JB. I, I I went to UTM in uh, in JB when uh, 1999 to uh, 2004, and I can tell you those days there was no such thing as Bukit Indah. I mean, uh, uh, and second link is is second link to to us is like a, it's a very very ulu very far place. Like you don't even want to go there. I don't know don't know how to go there. Also, it's like a very very odd odd, odd space. So uh, today is is very different. Yeah. Next question, we just want to give a shout out again to uh, Horizon Hills. So this guys do remember, like, comment and share uh, to stand a chance to win a 100 ringgit voucher by Horizon Hills Golf Country Club and as well as some of uh, Ryan's books. Yeah? So do remember, please do ask your questions. We will address in the comment section or either in our next uh, live session in the following week. Yeah. Uh, I think the next question, one of the questions for, for, for you, I think uh, what are the things to look for uh, when you want to buy a terrace and, and any tips uh, because I think I think the listeners uh, or, those, or the, for those who have submitted the questions actually uh, there are a majority of them are actually first time homeowners and they're looking to buy their first their first house and one, uh, immediately I think they were also looking options at condo uh, versus landed but let's talk about landed a little bit more um, so what are the things to look out for when you want to buy a terrace? Um, I mean, if, if, if you want to buy a link house or terrace house, I think the, the most important, of course, is a layout. Nah. Layout and uh, a facing. Also, you can say facing. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we, in, in the Chinese, we say buy, buy a house. It's the best facing is, of course, the north-south north -south facing, right? And uh, layouts, mm -hmm. of course, uh, mm -hmm. the regular layouts, right? The squarish, rectangular layouts where the rooms are all rectangular and, and uh, uh, I mean maybe maybe easier I show you on, 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 on the floor plan right I, I can share screen right oh sure uh, sure sure uh, sure please do please do please do yes how do I okay yeah. uh, share screen share screen okay so um, over here I have yeah, yeah, can I can see, see yeah yeah so yeah so over here we, yeah, over here we have uh, the floor plan for I think Horizon Hills uh, latest uh, Westwood uh, Superlink houses, right? So uh, these are 24, 24 feet by 75 feet. And if you see the floor plan, right, you can, um, I think they also mentioned this in some of the Horizon Hill videos, right? So you can see it's quite regular. And uh, you have well, one room downstairs, three rooms upstairs. And the, and the good news is uh, if you see downstairs, there's a four year wall. Mm. So sometimes you have families who want to have an uh, altar or things like that. And oh yeah, yeah, that's that's actually a good point. Correct. That's actually a good point. Really, and the good really news good about twenty four by seventy five layout is normally you can have a dry kitchen and a wet kitchen, right? And a wet kitchen. Sometimes mm. the small layouts you mm. can't you can't do the yard is not big enough to do a wet kitchen. So mm. in this layout you have a proper dry kitchen and a wet kitchen you can do it. And then uh, the, the other thing is of course if you look at the rooms, uh, upstairs all of the all the rooms mm. are and suite and suite bath. Uh, so each each room have their own. Um, a bar, right? Right, and if, right. Yeah, mm. and if you consider these houses are only starting from like nine hundred thousand ringgit and above, right? Mm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Per square foot, right? Is is cheaper than a condo uh, in most cases, right? I think in all cases, I I get to see a landed house where <laughs> per square foot is more expensive. <laughs> uh, per square foot is more landed, more expensive than a and a, land, than a condo. So uh, that's true. Correct, and you get mm. a lot of space, right? You have the family hall, you have a store storeroom, one downstairs, one storeroom at the back. So there's a lot of. Uh, space to use, right? So, uh, and, and generally the reason why people buy houses like this, right? If, if you ask me, right, Aaron, uh, why, if I'm working in Singapore, mm. why must I buy a landed house in, 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 in JB? I think the reason is a lot of uh, right sizing. Uh. Sometimes you get married, right? You have kids, right? And yep. uh, a, a Singapore house might not be big enough, right? Uh, for you. Some you need people, a bigger space. Yeah, yeah, you need a bigger yep. space, correct. Sometimes you are those people who travel in and out of uh, Singapore, Singapore JB to work. Right, so mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. you want your children to enjoy space, so you buy a landed house in, in Johor for them to stay, right? Uh, sometimes people buy uh, these kind of houses for uh, parents, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I know a case, I have a colleague, right? Her, her, her father is from Penang, so uh, she bought a place for her father in JB. Because sometimes after you work mm. in Singapore for so long, you don't want to go back, you don't want to go back to Malaysia, <laughs> don't want to go back to Penang. That's, that's actually really true, that's actually really yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think a lot of Malaysians, uh, after you work in Singapore for like five, six years, uh, I think it's quite hard, quite hard to go back mm. uh, in a way. Right, so uh, the one solution is mm. to bring the parents down. Uh. So uh, we have seen that mm. multiple mm. times. So JB is, is a place where you can buy a place for your parents, and your parents uh, may, may not want to stay in Singapore because they're not used to the lifestyle. Yeah. That's true. So That's you put true. them in a house in, in JB where you can uh, do all the things. So when you have when you have four rooms, right, in a landed house like this, uh, it becomes mm -hmm. very 
flexible for usage, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, when I look at the layout right now, I think they're all like perfectly uh, shaped. There's no weird corners. Uh, I think they even accommodate the size to put for the wardrobes. Uh, yeah, I think, I think. It, yeah, yeah, it, and it, you it can looks build pretty, pretty, a very clean layout. Yeah, uh, very clean, and I think this is where we say uh, layout is important, right? Because sometimes we have seen in other houses before they have uh, odd odd layouts, uh, right? Uh, odd corners that uh, sometimes they have a kitchen in the front. I've mm. seen that before. Mm. You enter the house to straight see the kitchen, which I think is a bad, very bad layout. Or you enter the house to straight see the you should we see the, the stairs? The staircase, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, also that's, a, that's also a bad layout, right? Uh, and uh, there, mm. there, are, there are a lot of examples of bad layouts. Okay, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> the a best layout is always something like this, like what you see in the screen now. This is always uh, yep. the safest layout, and and you you will not go wrong in this kind of layout. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. So 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 guys, so if yeah, this is really a good example. Uh, of 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 a, of a link house layout. Yeah, the, thanks thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip, Brian. Thanks for the tip. Actually, talk about talk about uh, talk about buying landed house, right? I think another thing I want to say is that we, we also have this scenario also, right, <laughs> where where Singaporeans buy house in, in JD, right? And uh, and and the reason why they buy is because again in space, right? I have a neighbor behind my house only, right? He uh, he's a he's a he's a cyclist, cycle. <laughs> Right, so mm -hmm, so he mm -hmm, bought a house mm -hmm. in JB just to cycle only. He, he he put a bicycle. He has two three bicycles there. Those those very racing style bicycle and he's yeah wow. and he cycles. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah I have yeah. another friend who has a house in JB, Singapore from Singapore. So he comes every weekend to send the children to badminton because badminton training in Malaysia is very intensive. <laughs> <laughs> we we produce yeah yeah we produce world champions ma. So you know uh, Singapore track record. Yeah, our, our dear Correct. So uh, yeah. so yeah actually if you come and see a Malaysian uh, intensive badminton training uh, it's, it's very high high quality one so sometimes he realize the kids uh, will learn better if they play in Malaysia so he send the kids to, to he come to JB every weekend to do that so there's there's a lot of reasons why people come to JB to and use their house for what purpose yeah. Yeah. So, so it's no longer just pure investment they are actually uh, how to say a mixture in culture and people actually do come to Johor right now for you know for, for different reasons right, right for own use yeah yeah yeah, I mean, uh, other other examples, of course, is uh, the the most popular one uh, is buy milk powder and buy, <laughs> <laughs> buy. Apart from that, apart from uh, that. <laughs> apart ah, from yeah, that. and uh, medicines, you know, things like that. Uh, in Malaysia, groceries, uh, these are very common. There's a reason mm. why the border is jammed every weekend. I I keep telling this to people in Singapore, right? You say, ah, Malaysia, no good, mm. ah, no good, no good, but there why is the border jammed? There is a reason. Yes, mm. yes. People see value, and people come over to for the value. That's true. That's really, really true. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think moving on, uh, let's uh, let's go on to the tougher questions. I think uh, our viewers uh, do have some uh, burning hot questions. Uh, I think this is one okay. of them. So, um, one of these listeners, they do ask, uh, as a new or future homeowner, you know, buying a property can be challenging during this time, you know, especially during this pandemic. So, the question is, is it a good time now to buy a property? Um, um, as, as I, if, if you look at it from a property cycle perspective, right, um, uh, Malaysia probably had a up cycle from maybe uh, 2005 until 2013, right, and mm -hmm. currently Malaysia down cycle has been since maybe 2013 all the way un until now. So it's roughly about the same time. The, the first up cycle is about uh, seven, eight years. And now also we are roughly about seven, eight years down cycle already. So if, if you ask my opinion, uh, we, we are at the tail end of the down cycle. Um, it will last maybe this year, maybe next year. Uh, it depends, depends a little bit, but we are, we are, hit, we are somewhere at the end already. La. I mean, uh, so, so the good news is, mm -hmm. and, and the, another signal to see is that government has uh, uh, relaxed a lot of cooling measures. Right, uh, and they have mm -hmm. things like home ownership mm -hmm. campaign where they try to encourage people to buy. They they, they tell the mm -hmm. banks to give you ninety percent loan to Malaysians for the third property. Mm -hmm. Right, this is a uh, mm -hmm. new mm -hmm. new things, right? And then they they try to you know waive mm -hmm. stamp duties and things like that for for buyers. So I think uh, the mm -hmm. reversal of cooling measures is a is a signal. And then of course, mm -hmm. bank have cut interest rate. Right, uh, in those, yeah, yeah, the low yeah, interest rates right now. Low interest right, rate, right. Like those days, right? Yeah, uh, if you buy Malaysian interest rates have been about, about mortgage uh, for mortgage, right? Has been about four over percent for a long, long time. Now it's three, mm. uh, and it, it might be that it will drop to even two percent uh, later this year because uh, government mm. trying to stimulate economy, right? So we, we might see even yeah. mortgage rates drop to two, which is a very, very low deal. I mean, <laughs> two, two plus percent uh, is like almost, it's like almost a uh, Singapore. It's barely one percent over Singapore interest rates now. So I mean, it's it's very low. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, and I think all these are to encourage people to buy, right? Yep. And and as I mentioned earlier, 
if you, if you ask me, if you are the showcase in Singapore or Singapore, you say, hey, why must I buy in Malaysia now? I say, the deals are, are, are as, as we get, I mean, maybe I sound very marketing uh, for trying to say this, but I mean, the deals have really, <laughs> <laughs> very, no, it's okay, it's okay. It's it has okay. really, it has really been better this year compared to last year and last, mm. uh, you know, and the deals mm. have, getting, have, gotten, uh, have gotten better and better. So I think, uh, mm. to me, uh, it's like, uh, I don't even know how to get better. Really, uh. To get better, really, maybe the developer also margin will like, maybe don't make money really. Uh. And then, because the other thing you must, you must consider, uh, is a construction cost, construction cost mm. has not gone down, right? right. Uh, right. Despite we say property That's price true. is high, construction cost has not gone down. Today, to build the same house, uh, uh, today, compared to 10 years ago, the price has gone up a lot, right? And uh, so uh, even mm. the developers also scratch it. Sometimes you say we want the developer to sell the house cheap, but developers are thinking how to build a house cheap that the you know, construction cost is really like this. Like, mm. uh, and and also I heard in Singapore also they actually have to pay now additional fee for the swap test the swap test for COVID and I yeah think yeah correct and after uh, COVID has to bear it, yeah, correct yeah. and after after and with COVID now there's a lot more uh, regulation and and things and, and uh, that's true for, for that's testing true. for workers so all the costs and costs so even in Singapore we realize this is, this is also a problem uh, construction costs in Singapore actually is also very high and uh, it's difficult for the same developer in Singapore to build. Uh, cheaper and cheaper, right? There has something has to trade off, right? And then normally people complain if I if I trade off this, then I, oh, yeah, the house quality no good, you know, and, and mm -hmm, things like that. So mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. to build a quality house in Malaysia today, it's, it's not become cheaper. So my it, there's an inflation effect, right? So my, my point is if you can afford it, and considering now very likely we are towards the tail end, uh, this is a is a good thing to buy, right? Another signal which I think is very important for for property buyers is you uh maybe it's a more macro signal, right? Is that mm -hmm. the RTS which is the mm -hmm. MRT linking JB to Woodlands. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, seems like very likely they will sign by end of this month. Right? Uh, today, the Malaysian ministers have came out a statement, even came out of Singapore Straits Times also, mm -hmm. uh, to say that, mm -hmm. uh, that they, they are, they're quite close to signing. Right? And, and the high-speed rail, mm -hmm. uh, we will know by mm -hmm. uh, December 31st this year end. So I think there's a mm -hmm. lot of uh, positive news that should be confirmed in the next, in the next few, few months or few days or few months. And if all sounds, that happens, sounds great. Sounds yeah, so positive. I mean, uh, yeah. we, we maybe reach the bottom and movie start to move up already. Right? I mean, right. of course, we cannot guarantee right. all this, but I mean, to me, there's a lot of signals that says. But there's good leading in indicators, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm, that's good, that's yeah. good. Um, okay, uh, next question is also about yeah, during this uh, pandemic, you know, with most of us uh, staying at home, uh, what are your thoughts about how does the property market change in, uh, uh, for homeowners you know, who buy for own use and probably investors market uh, in the Iskandar region? Um, during the, the pandemic, I think, uh, especially in landed house, we start to appreciate our house more like, because, <laughs> you know, if you, you know that during the, pandem during the lockdown, right, I was at home with uh, my son, my wife, um, one mate and uh, my mother-in-law, so uh, there are a lot of people in the house, right? but at least the house is big enough. <laughs> the house is big enough, big to, enough. to secure everybody. <laughs> Right, I, I was in the corner. <laughs> if, if I if I stay in, in Singapore at the time, right, I I tell you I tell you my 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 two bedroom in Singapore how to fit, how to fit so many people, uh, in yep. the house. That's why you have you have all these stories about uh, domestic stress, <laughs> increasing, <laughs> during That's during the lockdown. That's actually really true. That's actually really right, true. So in in uh, in uh, in my in my house in in uh, in, in Horizon Hills. I, I have space to do my work. My wife has space to do her work. There's there's a mm. there's, there's a enough mm. area to share, right? Uh, I think this mm. is one of the stresses mm. in Singapore today, right? Sometimes you don't realize it. Uh, the place is too small, uh, then you feel stressed. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. In Singapore true, elections, this is uh, this is one of the key issues, right? That um, uh, people in Singapore don't want ten million people in Singapore. They feel they feel that it's too many people, right, mm. on the island. Mm. So it's, it's 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 an issue that Singaporeans feel that uh, space is not enough. So it, it, mm. in, you buy a lender house in, uh, or you buy any any house in, in JB where you, it's generally cheaper for for the per square foot that you get, yeah. right? You don't feel so stressed. Yeah. Right? Uh, we we have uh, I oh, actually I have a couple of Singaporeans during the lockdown they they, they prefer to lock down in Malaysia than to lock down in Singapore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, 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 interestingly, yeah, we we do we do we do hear that kind of news because yeah, I think before the lockdown was announced, a lot of Malaysians choose to work in Singapore because yeah, they have to choose either they have to earn, or they have to be they have to stay in Malaysia unpaid, right? But most of the Malaysians come to uh, live in Singapore to continue to work. And yeah, yeah interestingly, like you said, there are some Singaporeans also who choose to to, you know, to be locked down, uh, in Malaysia, right? Yeah, yeah lockdown in Malaysia at least is not so not so yeah. bad, right? Yeah. Uh, from an investment perspective, of course, uh, uh, everything is slow down in, in this in this period. But I think uh, if you look at if you look at um, uh, Iskanda area, the past few years actually the majority has been driven by Korean, uh, a lot of Korean, Korean people in, mm. in Johor. Yeah, interesting, buy, interesting, Koreans. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, if uh, Korean culture is very strong, uh, we, we uh, young people all like K-pop and stuff. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so you, even you see, even you see, if you, I don't know where you notice it, you see my makeup. See, we have a uh, thick eyebrow. Right? This, uh, <laughs> today, the, the makeup artist uh, gave me a very Korean uh, K-pop style look, uh, right? So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Young people like it. I mean, uh, this this Korean thing. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and and today JB, of course, like I said, there are many Koreans and they are renting, uh, whether landed house or apartments. Yeah. Uh, they are renting yeah. in Horizon Hills. They are buying in Horizon Hills, right? Uh, and uh, and and they they have been the biggest people in this area, like, right? I think if we talk that's about Korean, true, I can true. I can talk another one hour. I think if you want to talk about Koreans, I I, I know them very well. <laughs> yeah, really. That's true. That's true. Yeah, because we do we do see a, a, a influx of uh, Korean restaurants and in Johor. I think that's really that's a lot of that's a lot. There's quite a number of them in Johor right now. Yes. Yeah, yes. I, I, yes. I do have to agree with that. Easily, I, uh, I was told uh, two thousand over two thousand over families Korean families in JB right now. Mm, yes. The, interesting. And this this happened in the past couple of years. Mm. Mm. So 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 would you agree that uh, you know I think for landed house I think uh, not even landed I think in every home I think the quality of life at home is actually really important. Yes. Do, do yes. I think yeah. uh, we we in, in the pandemic time you 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 start to appreciate the quality of uh, uh, like I said a landed house space uh, as as mentioned it's, it's it's very important you, you you need space to do stuff I I, I I give you an example in my house which I think if you want to see Ryan's uh, you maybe you all should come and video my house. Uh, one day, yeah. Uh. <laughs> hey, we can arrange for that next time. <laughs> ask, ask, ask whether they want to do it. I'll come video my house one day. I guess I designed it okay. Like, I mean, it's, 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 I didn't spend so much money like this. Uh, this but this, 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 show, this show house we're in is very nice. But uh, but yeah. I, I, I did yeah. uh, I, my ground floor bedroom. I actually opened it up. Mm -hmm. That means I don't mm. have a bedroom downstairs. I knock down the wall and I turn it into like mm. a. I don't know, a study or second second living right. hall in a way. So a, a, a dedicated zone, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. So I don't have a bedroom downstairs. I actually open up open up their wall. So I mean, uh, if if a landed house, you got a lot of options to do things like this, right? Uh, each room can have its own purpose. And mm. I, but for I think a condo, it's pretty much it's pretty uh, much there, right? Yeah, condo yeah. sometimes is tough. You you cannot really modify the the layout too much. But uh, I mean, in a landed house, you can you have definitely much more flexibility to do it, uh, right? Yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. Okay. Um. Okay, so uh, interestingly, this is also another question. I think this also I probably is also I'm also pretty curious. Uh, back then, I think six years ago, five or six years ago, Iskanda was very different as compared to now, right? Iskanda now. So what I what are your thoughts about buying a good mature township versus a new launch in today today today's time? Um, the, when you buy a mature township, the good thing is you can see uh, how is the condition. Of the of the location, like for example, uh, whether house mm -hmm. occupancy, right, of the of the place, whether do people stay here, mm -hmm. right? Is it mm -hmm. easy to is it really easy to buy uh, groceries and uh, entertainment? Mm -hmm. are, are they all available to you? When you buy a new launch, uh, you always have that problem. You're not sure uh, whether it will turn out the way you thought it would turn out. Sometimes what the developer mm. say in the brochure, uh, and and the brochure and the plan, uh, and the final result mm. may be uh, discrepancy. There might be discrepancy, <laughs> correct? Discrepancy. So and, and and there are things that you never thought yeah. about, because when you buy that time, it's under construction. You don't know don't know what is. Uh, you cannot imagine. Very hard to imagine. That so you, when you buy a mature township, you, the benefit of course is uh, you can see all mm. these these things. Uh, and uh, mm. and that's one reason why I, I bought Horizon Hills because uh, you have a developed township, right? Uh, you can mm -hmm. really see. If you you can visit mm -hmm. the earlier phases to see how how the occupancy is like, you can get a feel who are the residents. Right, mm -hmm, so the mm -hmm. uh, that's the that's a plus point of uh, buying a place at Horizon Hills. I think uh, the day someone told me one of the Horizon Hills staff staff told me she stay on the street. They got seven nationalities uh, on it. So I think that's that's very interesting. Her her street has seven. Interesting. Yeah. interesting. So and I think the township has over forty over nationalities. So I think these these are the benefits of when you buy a a mature area. You you ha you have an idea uh, what it's like, mm. right? So mm. so especially if your own stay, right? Uh, oh, oh, Buy a mature area is a, or, or at least a completed project is, is better. You can mm. immediately move in. Um, that's the you pay for buy. certainty, right? Yeah. Yeah, you pay yeah. for certainty, correct? You can immediately move in, uh, and uh, you can get a feel. You can see today what what it's like. Yeah. Agree with that. And uh, speaking of that, yeah. So we heard earlier in the section that uh, you actually also bought a house at Horizon Hills. Mm. So maybe you can share with us uh, what are the three main factors that encourage you to buy. Uh, in that area, um, when I bought was in uh, twenty fourteen. Uh, I, I bought a new launch. That time uh, when I buy from Horizon, I was buying a new launch, 
and the reason was because uh, the time you want to buy the terraces in the earlier phases is a little bit tough uh, and uh, so we, we buy we bought the new launch and I, I like the house in particular because the layout was very suitable for me I, I already from day one mm -hmm. I already know I want to whack the wall downstairs <laughs> so this particular yeah so this particular house right I, I saw the floor plan I said oh this house floor plan is uh, very suitable for, for what I want mm -hmm. so uh, mm -hmm. that was one reason why I took the house and of course it had a very nice north-south uh, facing. I think when you have a mm. north-south facing in the house, uh, you realize that a lot, a lot of problems are solved. Like sun, for example, there's no afternoon sun, mm -hmm. there's no morning sun. Mm -hmm. I think that that it makes the house very comfortable, right? And mm -hmm. uh, and for me, of course, uh, same same thing like what I, I, I mentioned earlier, right? I I have been living in Singapore mm -hmm. for a number of years, and I think eh, yeah. Uh, Better buy one landed freehold in JB. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> you know, for space, uh, and then you know, weekend you can come. Uh, yeah, I I yeah. I do it all the time. I, I bring retirement my, home, maybe retirement home. Retirement home, maybe well. yeah, and and yeah. Uh, and then, you know, I want my son to learn to ride bicycle in a place where there's a lot of space. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, kick football <laughs> in a field where there's a lot of no no one to fight the field with you. You know, yeah. these true. are small small problems in Singapore. You never realize, but uh, I mean, in, in JB, this this all becomes possible. So. Mm. Um, that's the reason why I, I, I took this house. I don't know whether there's three reasons or, or more, but <laughs> but that was the reason that why. Actually, I, there's definitely more, definitely more. That was <laughs> my, uh, yeah, and, and, and uh, even my hobbies, right? I, I, I keep a lot of my hobbies in uh, in, in, mm. in, in my house here in, uh, in Johor, right? my mm. books. Uh, I play uh, sort of games, you know, miniatures, which I also keep in, uh, you know, those miniatures are, uh, not Iron Man miniature, not those kind of stuff, but I, I keep it in my house in Germany. There's no space for me to do that in Singapore. Right. Yeah, this is uh, like a collection area. Like yeah, collection it's a collection area. area. Yeah. I, have a, I have sort of like a collection yeah. area in my house. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting, really interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and also, I think, I think, uh, from what I can see, the Skanda plan there is also um, uh, uh, Edu City. I think there are uh, these uh, international uh, sort of uh, facilities. You got uh, Edu City, and I think there's Putri Harbour as well. This entertainment area. Yeah. Yeah, um, there are universities here. I think you, you can see a student population in uh, in, in this in this part of town, um, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and surprisingly, a lot of the students are from Korea, right? Uh, as I mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, the Koreans are here for education because they want to learn English and they want to learn mm -hmm. English uh, affordably. So in, in Malaysia, mm -hmm. uh, English mm -hmm. is uh, English is the second language in many places. So they, they uh, and we have many private schools, international schools that, that cater for such students. So uh, mm -hmm. student population has been very good and, and they are actually indirectly one of the biggest uh, tenants uh, in this area. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Mm. yeah. Like I said, if I don't talk about Koreans, I can talk very long. Uh. Korean, we can one video <laughs> about Korean. Yeah, I, I, I have, uh, so, so many Korean videos to tell you, okay, so many stories to tell you about Korean. It's, like, uh, <laughs> it's very interesting. You, gotta, you know, and in Korea now, the, 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 we, we talk about Koreans, right? It's like, uh, a lot of Koreans are here to do, and they are, and they open business. That's a very interesting thing. They come here, they not just buy a house, mm. they also open business. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. That's true because most of the Korean Korean uh, BBQ places that you go off is always usually the the the, the bosses are actually usually Korean. Yes, yeah. Korean this BBQ opened by Korean. It's not Korean BBQ opened by Malaysian. Open by it's Korean, yeah, uh, that's, it's that's Korean BBQ true, opened by Korean, and, and uh, you can see the differences mm. in the the way they cook. Right and the uh, quality is different. Correct, yeah. and the quality is different. And then they and, and there are things that I can tell you. There are fashion hubs coming up in, in JB from Korea. Mm. We have a uh, medical aesthetics also in the plan. Uh, mm. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, mm. they're very so enterprising. So all these things you're describing is actually uh, township is actually very important, right? Township, you know. Yes, yes. I think uh, the 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 uh, one thing you see in Horizon Hills uh, today, or, or in Bukit Indah in general, is that uh, the township has developed very well. There's a lot of choice for mm. shopping and food and uh, groceries and entertainment. Right? You've got cinema mm -hmm. and uh, there are, nowadays you've got a bookstore and, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, different variety of uh, cuisine, you know, restaurants, you know, Korean, Chinese, yep. Japanese yep. and stuff. Yep. So I think this, this township development uh, and uh, of course, Horizon Hills, you have a golf course and the golf course is very popular. Mm. Uh, I think it's a top three in Malaysia or something like that. So they, yep, they, yep, yep. Yeah, so there's, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, things to do. Right. Uh, again, again, Korean come also because they love to play golf. <laughs> no, I keep yeah, about it's it. true. La. I mean, how uh, often your house is actually beside a golf course, right? Yes, often, uh, and how I think often does that happen? Even in, even in this phase, the the Westwood, right? They have houses which are facing the golf course. Uh, some of the uh, I think the those bungalows and I think the, the bungalow, yeah, 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 they are, they are facing the golf that's course, right? So uh, you 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 can uh, see people playing golf, right? Which is one of the luxuries. 
I think uh, small small luxuries. Uh. You never you never really thought you can. It's a luxury, but actually it's quite it's quite a nice thing to see golf course <laughs> on the field <laughs> and learn to play. Yeah. I tell people, I uh, Malaysia, uh, learn to play golf. Uh, it's the cheapest in the world, cheapest, really cheapest. You can uh, you go to driving range. I uh, hit hundred ball. I uh, only pay ten ringgit. You know that in in, in Malaysia, uh, go you go driving range. Wow. Hundred ball only pay ten ringgit. Okay, you know? I, 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 I not tried that lah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I brought yeah. a Korean guy here. He asked me how much ten ringgit. Uh, he, he was so shocked. You know, he was say ten ringgit. You no, know, he said in Korea it's ten times the price. <laughs> I was wow. like, so it's so it's like uh, uh, uh -huh. yeah, these are you know things which uh, people should come and do, right? You, you, I always tell people Singapore, you you never play golf before, mm. I right? come, I bring you JB play, learn to play golf, come. You this they, you know, really uh, it feel like a very luxurious thing you don't want to learn, uh, but actually you you can you can do this. It's very really accessible in Johor right accessible. now. Yeah, right? yeah. And the other yeah. thing we tell yeah. you, you learn to play golf, go and buy a car. Say you cannot Malaysia, Singapore car very expensive, right? Uh, I I, like, I bring you to Malaysia, buy free whole car, wanna buy free whole car. You never buy before, right? Free whole car. The, ah, because the Singapore car is a 10 year lease ma. This ten year tenant lease, uh, lease, lease I bring you to JB, yeah. come buy free whole car So uh, yeah. you, you can buy second hand my V uh, Maybe 20,000, mm. 25,000 ringgit Use it as a weekend car Best pay uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I think I yeah. think these are the value You can buy a, a car here and it becomes uh, The priceless mm. uh, You can drive the car to KL, drive the car to Malacca you know, exactly. Drive to, drive to exactly. Bersalu yeah. These yeah, are priceless, freedom, uh, right? priceless Priceless mm. experience Mm. Yeah, speaking of Westwood, I want to shout out again to, to Horizon Hills uh, Westwood. So they do have this uh, West, uh, Westwood, which is actually uh, pretty much uh, the latest launch. And I think they do have some ready moving units and they do have a variety. They have a link cluster uh, bungalow and it's actually next to, I don't know, actually behind there's this really nice hilltops, the Siray Park. Yeah, so it's, uh, do, do check it out. If you are interested, please do leave your comments below. Siray Park uh, is... Siray Park is actually one of those uh, uh, government built parks which is very nice. I've I've been it a few times. So, so mm. it's, it's like a jogging park. So it's a reserve. It's a reserve. It's a reserve. Uh, yeah, it's a reserve. And it's, it's, it's quite big. Land. You can easily spend uh, an hour, hour plus. In Singapore, the equivalent would be like uh, McRitchie Reservoir or your East Coast Park. Of course, yeah, not, not as big yeah, as East Coast yeah. Park. Uh, but I mean, it's a it's a it's a it's a nature <laughs> reserve where you can uh, run and, and all that. So I think it's just behind Westwood and uh, this, this phase mm. of Horizon Hills. And Horizon Hills, one thing, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, the houses are completing, uh, I think, towards the end of this year. So, uh, mm. I mean, if you want to buy for own occupation, you can you can see the houses pretty soon. Yeah, it's actually pretty good, yeah, because you can look at the house as it is, mm. right? And, and yeah, you can actually choose the unit that you like. Mm. So yeah, so do guys do remember, like, comment and share, and please feel free to ask more questions and we will uh, select the random winner. Uh, for the Horizon Hills uh, 100 ringgit voucher and as well as uh, you want, if you want interested you can get Ryan's books as well yeah and if you okay. want to see Ryan's house I guess uh, you, you can put the comments there and say I want to see Ryan's house and then ask Horizon Hills to bring <laughs> the video to the house <laughs> we'll try to arrange that we'll try to arrange that oh, I, I, and talking about my book I think I have a I, yeah this is this is my book right so if you want hey, uh, if, uh, if yeah, you want yeah, a copy yeah, yeah. hey this I, I printed with full colour uh, full colour very high quality paper no? it's, it's fairly heavy you, know? you carry mm. 20 copies it's, it's mm. quite a heavy I think of a few kg, four five kg to carry twenty. Yeah. So it's a yeah. This sort of thing don't 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 do cheap. I always like to do it nice a bit. But most important is the information inside, guys. So please do like, comment, and share, and yeah, stand a chance to win uh, free copies of Ryan's book. So please please do that. Please do that. Yeah. And a bit of self promotion. Okay. I think I I I'm pretty sure no one writes things about Iskandar Malaysia like I do. So I'm the only That's actually really true. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's why I was saying that, you know, property information isn't like cars and tax, you know, it's so accessible in the net, but no one really, really talk about property. And, you know, for yourself, you talk very specific about Iskandar. Mm. And I think that's why you, have, you also have a very huge following. I think, yeah, guys, so please feel free to ask more questions. I think Ryan can handle it. <laughs> okay, so we do have one burning question here. Uh, I think, uh, we, we, of course, we wouldn't want to mention names, but they did mention some investors say they have lost money mm. as compared when they invest back then. Property prices has dropped and fluctuates. So what are your thoughts uh, on that? Um, we, ha we have to look at property investment from a, from a property cycle perspective. So there is an up cycle and there is a down cycle. So mm -hmm. uh, supply demand will push will push the direction of the cycle up or down. Mm -hmm. So um, what happens in, if in Malaysia, if you look from uh, 2005 to 2013, there was a very strong uh, up cycle. So in mm -hmm. fact, if you look at Horizon Hills in uh, 2009, I think a terrace house, a superlink house at the time was only about 500, 500 mm -hmm. plus thousand mm -hmm. ringgit. 
and, and today the, the price still holds very well. I mean, uh, you, you cannot find a, a Superlink or Terrace House in Horizon Hills mm -hmm. uh, at that price anymore. It's uh, still about 800,000 plus minus, uh, right? Mm -hmm. 900,000 mm -hmm. plus minus in Horizon Hills. So because they bought at the right time. So timing is an important thing when you buy a property. Right. And uh, the, the issue with many people from Singapore who bought uh, in, in JB uh, during 2013 onwards is that the time the property cycle start to turn, right? And uh, many people made the mistake, including myself. I also I also bought property, <laughs> right? Where uh, mm. where the price didn't didn't go up, right? Uh, during mm. that period, and uh, we learn. I mean, we learn from these mistakes, right? Uh, why what we did wrong, right? Because sometimes there was a, a fear of missing out. Everybody buy, so you also buy. No one is really looking at the the fundamental or the price properly. So uh, it, and if that happened to you, my advice is that you hold, uh, right? Um, hold until the cycle recover mm -hmm. and, and we, when will the cycle recover so the if you see the first cycle the up cycle was about eight years mm -hmm. right 2005 mm -hmm. 2013 so the down cycle also should roughly be about eight years uh, right uh, to, to balance things out so if you say eight years so we're, we're talking about this year end or mm -hmm. next year right where the cycle should more or less end and mm -hmm. property prices can start to recover again and as we mentioned earlier right government has started to relax a lot of cooling measures and uh, interest rates have fallen uh, sup mm -hmm. new supply has dropped i mean today if you want to buy in johor i think one very good news is uh, there is less construction going on compared to five years ago there are very mm. few new developers mm -hmm. building mm -hmm. That's true. Mm. That's, that's good actually news. very true. That's so, very true. Uh, for example, you see high rise, right? We always say high rise in uh, Iskandar is an oversupply, and, and mm. that is true, right? But if uh, currently there's an oversupply, but if you look at new construction of high rise, there's actually very, very minimal. Very minimal. Very uh, minimal. Very minimal. Very minimum. Correct. And, and that is very healthy. Healthy for the, for the property market because once you stop new supply, you give a chance to the existing supply to, to recover. Catch up and mm, mm. to catch up and uh, occupy and, and then go up again. Then, then mm. only the market can recover again. So that's, that's good news. So we, we see in Malaysia, at least there is no uh, indiscriminate building. Build, build, <laughs> oversupply still build, right? Uh, <laughs> right? So it's very good. Even if you look at uh, landed house, right? In, you know, in, in this area, uh, there are only a few developers building landed house, right? And, and, and because a lot of it is to cater for own state, people buying for own use, because Malaysians still buy landed house generally for own state. Mm. So, mm. so uh, in that sense, uh, that's what that's what I have to say now, right? From from price perspective, don't be so stressed. Mm, mm. <laughs> Another couple of years. Yeah, unfortunately, we all pay a higher price, so we we, we take longer to recover, right? My, myself included, as I said. But but don't don't stress. Mm. Uh, good news is supply is new supply is limited and controlled, mm. and that means that cycle can recover. The up cycle can come again in the future. That's great. That's that's actually really some positive news. So. A little bit into investment, I think we do have some friends, uh, even myself, who have invested in property, but mentioning that finding tenants can be very tough at times. So, any advice on that? Um, yeah, so of course, if, uh, if the property market is bad, the next best thing you can do is to uh, find a tenant. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but then you say, find a tenant, difficult. Um, generally, uh, yes and no. Uh, yes and no is because, uh, number one, is oversupply. So, there's more house than there is tenant. Okay, so if you want to find a tenant, mm. your house must be different, uh, better than the rest. Uh. Okay, mm, so how mm, to be better mm, than the rest? Mm. Uh, you, when you buy a house, you have to make it attractive. Uh, first impression is important. Uh. So yeah. uh, when the tenant comes, they like the house and they will want to rent. Because mm. now what happens, a lot of owners, they buy the house, they collect the key, then they don't know what to do, right? So the first thing they do is they call an agent. Then they mm. give the key to the agent. agent. Agent, please yeah. help me. Yeah. Uh, please, agent, please help me find tenant. So mm. the agent, the agent say, okay, I try. But then the house is empty, no light, no fan, no mm. curtain. Then no in landed house, no no sometimes no kitchen, mm. right? And then, and then the tenant come, uh, how how he want to rent, right? And then uh, in the, in today's market, a lot of Korean tenant, right? Mm. So mm. you ask the Korean, mm. uh, you tell the Korean, you go and uh, furnish a house yourself. Uh, the Korean cannot speak English, cannot speak Malay, cannot speak Chinese. Mm. <laughs> how yeah, how true, are they true. going to how are they going to find uh, how are they going to rent a, a, a tenant house for you? And then you say, uh, uh, never mind, Korean. I, if you rent the house, I will do for you. But the, the Korean don't trust you, my, you know, he said, uh, yeah, how he know that you do nice, how they mm. do properly. So the so it's very important for to fully, do. fully furnished sort of thing. Like, right? Yeah, so whether partial furnished or fully furnished, your house mm. has to be uh, somewhat ready la, for the tenant to stay. Understand. So uh, you, you cannot wait for the tenant to come, then only you do. They're too late already. That's right? true. Late. He won't even see your, he won't even come to see your house, the tenant, That's especially true. all these foreigners. Uh, if mm. your house empty, uh, they don't even see. So a lot of owners tell me, oh, I cannot find tenant, I cannot find tenant. The first question I ask is, have, have you done up your house? 
if your house not done up, then no, no need, no need, no need to talk. Mm. No, no tenant come on. So once your house is done up, then you can find a tenant. So uh, my company, FYI Design, what we do is we help owners as a one-stop shop to fit out the house, right? Affordable cost, but nice design so that you can uh, attract tenants, right? Interesting. And we work with a lot right. of property agents. Mm. Yeah, we work with property agents. To, we help the property agents to uh, fit. Uh, we give the photos. Uh, so my designer will take the photo, give to the agent and let the agent go and uh, market. Because agents also want a nice house to do marketing. They don't want to take empty house to do marketing. Right, so a lot of agents work with us for this purpose. And uh, we, have, uh, we have had good results. We helped over 200 owners uh, right. in the past couple of mm. years mm. to find tenants right? uh, in a market that they otherwise cannot find tenants. So mm. Uh, mm. It's, it, again, I tell the owner, you spend 1 million ringgit to buy the property, the last 30,000, 50,000 you don't want to spend, I think it's, it's, it's very stupid. You, you pay 90, 95% of the price, uh, the last 5% to make your property complete, uh, you don't want to do. Right? Mm. And then because of that, your property got no result. Then I think, I think it's, it's, very, it's very stupid because you, mm. you already, hundreds of thousands you buy, right? and then uh, you don't want to do this. It's like you buy the horse, don't want to buy the saddle. You know, I have this saying. <laughs> you buy the horse, don't want to buy the saddle. You buy the car, don't want to buy steering wheel. You, know, you, buy, the, you buy the car, don't want, to put, don't want to put petrol. It's like, you know, yeah. how, how you expect result. Yep. Uh, in, in that case, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I do agree. I do agree because when I when I was also uh, working for a while in Australia, I think people are really accustomed to fully furnished. I don't really see people selling bare units, and I, and I think I think I think I do agree with you. Different different sort of tenants and different sort of cultures, right? Correct. So you know, in in Korea and in uh, in China also, in, in many times, uh, people come to rent house. Uh, is fully furnished, one. and even mm. and, and even fully furnished. Also, we got many standards. You know, nice fully furnished and mm. simple fully furnished. Exactly. Of course, we try to do as nice as possible. Right. So when they come to Malaysia, and then we, we have this, we still have this old culture. Even in Singapore, mm. we still have this old culture where we only partially furnish. Uh, Singapore not so bad because Singapore is a tighter tighter mm. market. But Malaysia, if you if you don't, the mm. standard today is fully furnished. Otherwise, you. So, I, so can you advise? So, for example, if a lender, let's say a link house, right? I mean, in particular, let's say Horizon Hills, how much uh, investment of uh, interiors you expect? Uh, I mean, I mean, an estimated amount. I mean, for a typical terrace house, we are talking about anywhere from. Uh, I mean, uh, partial. You're talking about forty over thousand mm. and above. So the building is a carpentry style. Mm. Yeah, the, which is talking about the kitchen and the aircon mm -hmm. and the lights mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. curtains, right, and the fan. Uh, the basics are right. Then when you go to fully finish, it's easily you will hit you will cross sixty to eighty thousand. Uh, mm. It depends on the size of the kitchens and how many aircons and how many rooms you do right? right. There are ways to do where you don't spend so much. Of course, in landed house you have to spend more because uh, a lot of the size, of the size of the size yeah, 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 that makes sense. And the house is bigger, yeah, because the house is bigger. Mm. Uh, but that's that's the thing about landed house, right? But uh, you have to do it. Otherwise, you cannot. You have a challenge. But uh, again. Uh, the, go back to basics, uh, right? Which, which I think a lot of people know. If you buy a landed house, uh, you're talking about uh, capital appreciation, uh, right? Rental mm. as a as a percentage of the yield is always lower in the landed house, but mm. capital appreciation for a landed house is always better. So if you find a tenant for a landed house, it's just to cover some costs, mm. right? Uh, I think I think today's market you're very difficult to say uh, positive cash flow for a landed house, uh. but <laughs> but, but uh, landed house always has a better capital appreciation, uh, right? Mm. You find a tenant so that you don't so stress. You feel that your house is occupied and then the, the street is full of people, you mm. know, uh, then only the market price can go up because you cannot find mm. any empty house. Man. If you live empty, your friend live empty, your neighbor live empty, then no one will want to stay because the whole house is the whole street is empty. That's so true, I said, oh, that's no, you true. must do your, your yeah. Your responsibility is to make sure the house is productive. Whether you stay as a weekend house or a tenant stay, right? Mm. Then the street looks the the, the, the area looks good, uh, looks occupied prices can go up. Nobody wants to stay in a place where it's all empty one. <laughs> right? Price cannot go up. Price cannot go up if the whole place is empty one. So we, we all as owners have to do our part to raise, mm. to raise this. Whether you own a landed house or an apartment, this is the same logic. Right? Uh, don't leave it empty. Right? Yeah. That's what. That's true. That's really true. I think I think this also applies across uh, whether you're staying on your on your own or own own occupancy or even investment. I think that really makes sense. And uh, yeah, and I do agree with you. I think landed uh, houses also have a sort of like a stronger emotional attachment. I guess you know, you know people really do go there to to for their own stay. Yeah, I I do agree. I do agree. Um, for a landed house, I mean, don't don't say you cannot find. You can still find tenant. Mm. I mean, uh, we have done it a few. Uh, we have done it a few times. We had a we had a house in uh, in also in this area. We rented for four thousand 
Terrace House and rented mm. to four thousand to a Korean family. Wow! Because uh, yeah, because some people want a want a want the landed house space. You you cannot assume that they always want apartment. The mm. foreigners they some they also want landed. All right. So yeah, shout out to Ryan. So yeah, he is. Uh, I mean, he and his company and his crew. It is a one stop solution. So you can go over for property consultation. You know, you can go for interior design consultation. Yeah, it is. Uh, I I I think he's one of the best person to talk to if you want to. If you do look want to invest in Iskandar. So uh, yeah. Any last uh, final final message to our I mean, our listeners uh, we we before we close. I like to think section? of myself. I like to think of myself as a solution provider, right? If mm -hmm. you bought in Skanda or want to buy in Skanda, we can tell you what are the solutions and options for you, right? As a, whether you you buy or haven't buy it, mm -hmm. right? And uh, that's that's what basically my company does, uh. and of course, like as per what this video today is, right? We we want today we want to cover the important things about uh, why mm -hmm. buy a landed home and right. what are the benefits of buying a landed home. So mm -hmm. I and especially for this video, if you are from Singapore or you're uh, you're working in Singapore or Singapore, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. there are some very clear benefits to buying a landed house, a mm -hmm. freehold landed house in 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 in, in Malaysia, right? And uh, to me it's, it's a free home, uh. mm -hmm. freehold landed house for three hundred thousand sing, I think <laughs> in, in many ways it's like yeah <laughs> it's so obvious the logic. <laughs> All right, guys. Huh? So yeah, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know how else to sell to you. Is three hundred thousand sing for a landed house, or uh, a freehold landed? I don't yeah. know how to say. It. I don't. Yeah. Have, especially when in the future there's MRT coming, high speed rail coming. I don't, I don't know yeah. what else to say. It's, it's very true. obvious. Sometimes it's very obvious like that. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. Maybe, you you maybe. don't. You you don't you don't you don't think of an investment. You can you either treat it as a as a as a retirement home. Or worst yeah. case, you can give a freehold and the house to your children next time. I mean, you think about it that way, yeah, I think it becomes very palatable. Think like how the China people buy and the Korean people buy. Mm. They buy a house, huh? sometimes it's not for themselves, it's for their children or for the future. They That's actually really true. Uh, Sounds like a fair deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I, I said it's, it's very hard to get it otherwise elsewhere in, in many parts mm. of the world. I mean, it's, and somewhere you can visit every weekend, every you know, if you want. Mm. All right, guys. Yeah, so thank you so much for listening and f thank you so much for those who like and comment and share. Uh, we do appreciate your questions and we do appreciate uh, for you guys, you know, coming in to join us and, 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 and to be educated about property. That's so cool. Uh, please do stay tuned for next uh, following week, our episode where we will still uh, talk to Ryan and probably talk a few other topics. Uh, so yeah, please do uh, hit us up you know, uh, DM us, comment, and pro we'll probably try our best to address this question in Chinese for our Chinese listeners. <laughs> yeah, we do, we'll, do one in, we'll do one in Mandarin, although our Mandarin not so good, but uh, you can ask about my Korean makeup and I'll talk more about <laughs> Korean makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, ask difficult questions, it's okay. If yeah. you want to see my house, also can. We can see, see we can see my house and then, uh, then uh, we, we, you know, I think it's... Uh, we'll try our best. <laughs> it's very interesting. Uh, I think it's very interesting. Uh, we, we, let's, 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 I'll be very open and, uh, and, and I think uh, hear more experience about how to live in Johor. That's really great. Yeah, so that's it guys. So that's, that's all you hear from us and uh, please do stay tuned and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye. Thanks, thanks, for, Thank you. thanks for your time here, Ryan. Thanks Thank for your you, time. Aaron. Thank, Thank you, Aaron. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.